this morning guys Brown country hey where you at, Holly pick him up Rabbit of the moon. She was excited right now. Straight them. Straight them. Where'd you go, Mama? Hey, straight them. Straight them. I did not run her last night. Straight them, Holly. Rev it at. Hey, pick him up. Where are you at? Hey. I didn't come around that curve. I don't know. He went into something. I don't think he just kept straight. She used to him just running open. You got to go in that stuff, mama. Get in there. That's him. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. That's him, Harley. That's him, Harley. That's him, Harley. That rabbit's all over this place. That moved. That's him. That's him. That's him, mama. That's him, mama. Come on, rabbit out. That's him. That's him. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Check, 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 check. Check it out, Holly. First rabbit of the morning, guys. Come right now, it's 6, 21 a.m. That's him, straight them. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Definitely meant 6, 26 a.m. Straight them, mama. We're gonna stick to two a days solo and probably gonna run her this morning for about three hours. Go back tonight running about three hours. Not trying to overwhelm her. I wanna keep her just like she is, amped up, ready to go. I don't wanna run her down to the point where she's so just mangled. She don't wanna do it anymore. It's gotta be pleasurable to dogs, man. You don't wanna do it to the point as if you're punishing them or as if they're uh, working the Alcatraz uh, uh, in inmate reform or, or inmate uh, whatever. Straight him, Holly. Whee! What my rabbit do? Now, you said he went all the way down here. You did a whole lot and you said a whole lot. Find my rabbit. Find him. Where is he at? Find him, mama. Find him. That's him. That's him. That's him, Mama. That's him, Harley. That's him. That's him. That's him. Check, 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 check. That's him. That's him. You didn't see those rabbits that moved so much out here last night. She don't know what he did, but he done got some discipline now. 
Oh, he went up in them, something. I know that rabbit didn't keep going all the way around like that. That's it, mama. Train him. Good check. Ugly, but good. Train him. She'll figure him out in there. That's what I wanted to see. I don't care nothing about how much bad she did. It's the fact that she's a young dog and she's figuring it out. She just figured it out. Rabbit started to move like I said all over here last night. In her mind, she was waiting on the rabbit to keep going like she, like we run nighttime in the very back right there. So she's used to rabbits just keeping that free flow, boom, 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 boom. So she tried to assume and predict that that's what he was gonna do. What she did was gamble because she was excited and because she's an adolescent. So it's not so much as the dog is doing something that can't be broken. Tracks can break it all, I feel, unless you're five years old and you're still doing it. You're what you're gonna be. Listen to that little dog though. Third time so long. Horse flies are brutal. Don't come back this way. Dog's doing a fantastic job, man. I can't ask for much more. Today is a change up. We're going back to the place that she fell on her face, basically, coming out here, trying to run a rabbit. She just didn't know what to do. Honestly, she didn't know that she had it, but she did. Now she's gaining that confidence. Get to her, sound like she came in to check. Pick him up! Hi! There he is. Big old cottontail, man. Alan! 
Run, Holly. I was about to do a time check. Tally ho, grab this one up top. Could be a stray, just a big old cottontail. Kind of counting for your game. The rabbit came right across here. I ain't tally hold her or say nothing. Same, same clip. Rabbit. I already did. I came straight out here, mama. That's him. Right here to your left. Hey, hey, right here, right here. Hey. Hey! Wait! Wait! Holly, 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 holly! Boom! Couldn't make you look like a fool. You done did the hard work. He brought that rabbit all the way around. Well, she she got him up up there. Well, brought him back around up there. That's where you last heard her. She brought him all the way around. This is the backside of where she was running at. She's probably about 100 and some yards straight ahead to there. But as you see, it's far too gnarly for me to go from there. I call this place Briar Country, man. That's what she's running in right now.
This right here is gonna be a major adjustment for her, but it's good. I would love to run over here at nighttime, but we got a coyote problem until I get the client that owns this dog down back down here or my buddy not too far from here to come in here and do some coyote eliminating. I can't run in here at nighttime. It's just too bad. I don't know where the dens are or what, man, but it sounds like the Mississippi Mass Choir if you run a dog over in here at night. When they run, when those dogs start opening their mouths, man, the coyotes start hollering because they're responding to a dinner bell or what they believe to be a dinner bell. Straighten them. Pick them up, Harley. Find him. Find him. Hey. Find him, Mama. Check good. Where my rabbit at? Find him. Pick them back up. That rabbit trying to run big, he running at the edge. I hate that it's the back route of a state highway, so you hear all those cars and stuff. The guy said, what? Oh my God. I thought I heard vehicles. It's not a pen. Those rabbits never go to the road. I wouldn't suggest you guys do this, but if you drop 10 dogs over here, you're gonna push them out of here, but you so low in man in a place like this, they got too much cover. A rabbit's not stupid. They hear those cars just like we do. They're not gonna go to the road. You get a sensible dog. All dogs that come in here can't run here because they got to have a brain. You get a dog that's rangy. They come in here wanting to do all their things and not go where the rabbit goes. Try to meander and pee off. Guess what? There's no telling what that dog might do, what that rabbit might do. He's not right across. came right back the way they came. Went back right back the way they came, excuse me. She's figuring it out, guys. That's why I say rabbit traps. Do y'all see the frog? That's all I'm gonna give you. Where is he at?
See, I ain't worried about her swinging and cutting and doing all that stuff, that wild stuff she was doing right here, which some people would call wild. I would call the female just coming into her own, uh, being full of pee and vinegar. She's trying to figure it out. So you can't really pull her for that. It's the first rabbit of the morning and she's young. She's gonna make adolescent mistakes. You ought to see that rabbit here soon. Hopefully he crosses. Turn it back. Six fifty four. <laughs> Six fifty four. I'm counting. Now she would have typically three minutes to produce this rabbit. There he is. Hey, taking her all back in the swamp. Oh, she's getting a crash course today, guys. Step around the backside so you can get. Time right now is 7.05 a.m. She bobbled with that rabbit right for about about seven, eight minutes. I went, as I was going to that backside, I went all the way around there thinking that she was gonna keep the rabbit going. He hit a little bit of the swamp. And as I was coming back, getting ready to call her in so that I can go ahead and put her back here on the back and on another rabbit. Not put her like I seen, but just, you know, work the backside more. Uh, she ended up hitting that check and went on with it. She didn't want to leave it alone. So I'm seeing now she's got stay power. Is, a, is a, another addition to, the, to my assessment. She's got stay power. She's going to be a check dog. Eventually, it's going to be a track dog. She's being made, and uh, she's coming into her own. So 
kudos to her, man. She's showing a lot of initiative, a lot of effort, a lot of guts, a lot of grit. This dog's not even a year old, man, and she's figuring it out. So I'm just grateful to be a part of her process and progress. Listen to this bitch. This is the same dog that really wouldn't even go solo. The first time she came, I mean, the first time I tried, she wouldn't even really do it. And I was like, darn, I don't wanna have to keep packing her. But she was so codependent and interdependent upon the pack, mainly Sam, uh, that she didn't wanna do too much of anything else. But listen to her now. Nine times out of ten, he probably don't keep going. These rabbits right here have a PhD in escapology. Y'all have heard me say that time and time again. I've probably made 150 dogs in this place.
What'd he do? Hey, calm it down. What'd he do? Put your nose down. Yes, ma'am. I didn't see him that way, I guarantee it. Wait a minute here. She thought it kept came out. It's okay. God's country, guys. Find him! Find him! I'm rather satisfied with her performance today. Some people would look at the faults, but are they faults? We in the classroom. Do we adhere to a seven or eight year old child that doesn't get the problem right in his classroom like we do the Harvard grad that makes the wrong assessment of a patient as he's doing brain surgery surgery after he's came out of Harvard with a master's degree to perform well I guess it would be what neurosurgeon uh, as a neurosurgeon brain surgeon whatever we can't hold them to the same uh, level of accountability why because a seven-year-old is a seven-year-old they're gonna make mistakes Harvard grad should make the mistake that the seven-year-old is going to make. Because your degree says that you have mastered the art of whatever it is in that genre of profession. So she's not a professional right now, is what I'm trying to say. She's the seven-year-old trying to figure out how to solve the problem. In time, I don't give her the answer, but I'll show her sometimes how to work the problem. And then I'll show her what the answer is and how I got the answer, but I don't just give her the answer. Does that make sense? Young dogs are gonna be young dogs and they're gonna make mistakes until the end of time. You just have to make time for the mistakes, make time to make the proper assessments, make time uh, to allow patients to have its perfect work in that dog's life. If you don't have patience, you can't be a trainer. If you're one to flop the edge quick uh, and, and, and have no 
uh, control over your emotions. A dog did what she just did, and you ready to stomp them down the ground, or shoot them down, or hang them, or throw them over the river, or into the river. Man, listen, you don't need dogs. You need a dog that'll do what you wanted to do as far as just walking beside your side, not a performing a working dog. It's something that, something that you don't have to perfect. Or just buy broke dogs, sir. Buy broke dogs, ma'am. But if you don't have the patience, and you know you don't have the patience, don't ruin typically good dogs or potentially good dogs trying to do something that you really don't have the patience to do. I never understood that. People take up a role in fast food. They work the register. They take uh, uh, go into call centers and hives. And, and then I laugh. Hello, welcome to Wendy's. Is that all? Barbecue sauce, okay, anything else? Ma'am, you in the wrong profession. You in the wrong profession. Because the position that you're in, it speaks of, of an exuberant hosp uh, hospitableness and hospitality. That's your job. That's your job description. And if that's not your nature, you can't transgen natures and just think, oh, well, I'm supposed to be talkative, but I'm a quiet person, shy, high anxiety. I hate talking to people. Why are you at the window of Wendy's? Sir, why are you at the, Wendy's, the, the window of Wendy's? Ma'am, you know you don't like people. You don't even talk to your family. They come around, you start sweating, all pit sweating like you jumped in the pool. Why, why are you in that position? You follow what I'm saying? Anyway, back to the broadcast. She's hammering this rabbit back here. Doing a fine job. Don't know which direction he wants to go in, but these horse flies are killing me. You don't want to get this rabbit up. I like that. Hmm. Guts with a strong wheel willpower and a certain thickness between your ears guaranteed stay guarantees stay power, in my opinion. Why do I say that? Because You can't be, <laughs> I'm not going to say that. You can't be a dog that is willing to sacrifice any and everything just to run and not run right. You, you have to make the assessments. I'm talking about the dog now. In order to run the rabbit. You can't always run wide open. You can't always walk them out. You have to know how to appropriate and assess the track the rabbit, you know, so forth and so forth along the way. Because if you're not careful, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You'll find yourself overloaded, overwhelmed, thr uh, uh, flustered, and you won't know how to get back. A lot of dogs throw themselves to the wolves without any mishandling of the handler. handler. None of the handlers, handlers doing now it may be, uh, a, it could be maybe possibly attributed to some of his uh, malpractices or um, inefficiencies in the department of correcting what he see or she sees uh, the dog to be doing wrong. The true, but ultimately, if that dog is a gambler, if that dog's a risk taker, if that dog's a, a, a dog that just wants to do anything it takes just to run, uh, majority of the time. A lot of that can't be corrected. A lot of that, you just have to send that dog to the right person. Find him. Pick him up. Find him, Holly. You have to send him to the right person that handles dogs, runs dogs, breeds dogs, buys dogs on that level of roughness and all over the placeness. If I can create a word or phrase. Find him. 
Some people want them rough. I talked to a buddy of mine the other night. He said, man, that's what we want, Bo. Rough and raggedy, rough and crazy. Yeah, Bo, shoot fire. That's what I want. I want them rough. I want them raggedy, Bo. Yeah, Bo. Swing and cut and get it. Yeah, man. Well, you're not promoting a rabbit dog. You're promoting that format. That format might be going completely against the grain. That's neither here nor there. There she is. Hopefully she picked him up back there. That rabbit is conflicted between staying in the briars and taking her to the swamp. Usually this place right here, as you see, is usually full of water. Still got great moisture uh, all out here, right? But this place right here is usually generally a small body of water right here. Everywhere I'm at, all through there, all with the cattails, what would typically be the cattails down through there, it's usually water. So... Uh, that's, that rabbit is probably thinking, my goodness, I can't even shake her in what nature used to provide for me as an extended blanket of cover and coverage. And uh, it's a pavilion for me because nature has a way of protecting her own. And uh, so swamps and um, certain dead spaces and dead areas like Bermuda, that's a safety net for survival uh, uh for the for the for nature you know such as a rabbit or something a fox can't track that rabbit all the way to uh, across uh a coyote all the way across bermuda it's gonna take a special individual to do that and a sure enough hungry individual that wants to go take the time to, to go through all of that just to get a meal you're gonna go up here and see if we can't hear her because you always want to stay within contact of the dog. Some people that drop the dogs down and they just watch the Garmin. Uh, four miles per hour, five, three, uh, they're about 200 yards. Uh, well, I think they're near the road. Let me go over here. Let me see what they're doing. And then they, they, they sit on the path and just wait for the crosses. They don't care about how the dog is doing it, what the dog is doing. Now, me personally, I'm not going to go through here and run wide open because by the time I get there, she's already made her round. Or she's in the process of making her round. Makes more sense for me to do what I'm doing right now and try to cut the rabbit off as if I was gun hunting. Therefore, I can see crossings. That's where I can see what she's doing. It's just too thick, far too thick for me as a human to get over in there. I'm not a dog, so. Woo. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. He's just chip chapping over here on the backside. I leave her out here for another 30 and I'll switch up and go to my residential place where we'll just have some fun uh, with basic uh, movement and motion in both thick stuff and a, a more freer um, tree line or oak, big, oak, big woods. Stay tuned. Let's get around here. One hour later.